If you like Jennifer Love Hewitt, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. Number five. No, of course I love you more. Yes, I do. I love you and you know that. But you know what? I've got to take a shower and I'm really late. I Know What You Did Last Summer is a slasher film directed by Jim Gillespie. Buried secrets are about to be lifted in this classic slasher movie with a stalking twist. One year after a group of friends ran over a fisherman and dumped him in the water, they meet again after receiving a letter telling them the crime was seen. If that isn't enough trouble, things get worse when they all get killed one by one. Yes, I love you too. Okay, bye. Number four. Is it hard? What? Getting married. Heartbreakers is a romantic crime comedy film directed by David Merkin. Witty and provocative, this female-driven con ride follows the best mother-daughter duo. Scamming willing and wealthy men into heartbreak, Mother Max marries them while daughter Paige seduces them. Playing out to catch the men in the act, the two take the easy money and run, but fate has other plans. Damn it! Here, let me help you. Before we come to the next movie, here are some of her TV show performances. I always hate to lose one of my favorite clients, but I will be real happy to see your marriage work out. What do you say we make our last time love for the record books? Okay. <laughs> uh, change of plans. Oh my God, Jim, I have searched every inch of this house. I'll be okay. I'm gonna call the police, we'll call everyone. Hello? My son is missing. Number three. Oh, oh God, Mike, get off. What, can I hug my girl if I want? Can't Hardly Wait is a teen romantic comedy film written and directed by Deborah Kaplan and Harry Elfond. At this night out, fates change, lives get ruined, and trouble is on the horizon. When an entire graduation class with types that couldn't be more unfitting, from nerds to womanizers to the loveliest girls, is invited to a rich home party, a clash of year-long awaited paybacks, love declarations, and fights is about to break loose. I think we should get back together. Why? What? Why? Give me one good reason why... No, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> Number two. The Lost Valentine, directed by Darnell Martin. In this proof that love does transcend time and space, a young, cynical reporter will learn about it one way or another. When she takes on a case about a young couple who were separated during World War II and never reunited, she follows the missing Navy pilot's tracks, discovering long-lost mystery to unfold and sparks to be reignited. Uh, let's go right leg forward. Okay. And left knee down. Oh. Let, me, let, me, let me help you out there. Okay. Okay, all right. Now, what I want you to do is... I want you to lean back into me. Okay. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Because I'm just telling y'all what everybody in this room is thinking. I mean, it's bad enough getting rained out without having to hold my hand the whole damn time. Yeah, but you don't have to be an asshole about it. No, it's okay. It's okay, he doesn't believe me. No, that's his right. I'm starting to think I'm crazy, too. I can't believe it's almost four o'clock. Dang it. Y'all, why is this always empty? Sam, you got a new guy in two and number four is still waiting. Okay, well, the last guy was in real estate and he wouldn't stop crying. I'm sorry. Two seconds and I'll be right there. I just gotta let you know that you got a nice wreck. Oh, thank you, Mr. Brown. Enjoy your show. What is wrong with you? You fell down by himself. You killed James Brown. Number one. Vintage Portobello Road, it was only 10 pounds. And it does come with this. If Only is a romantic fantasy drama film directed by Jill Younger. Featuring a mystery to be revealed and a love that is doomed to be forgotten, a young man gets the chance to relive the very day his girlfriend almost broke up with him and then died in an accident. Destined to follow the events that led to this moment, he must stop fate and, if he can, win back the love of his life. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments.
If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.